एवरीवन वेलकम टू जीवजी के मास्टर क्लास गाइस इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी इफ यू ऐड इन्वर्जन सेंटर टू द डी थ्री सी थ्री एंड सी फोर बी ग्रुप विच पॉइंट ग्रुप वी विल गेट दिस इज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द बी सी यू यूनिवर्सिटी एंड इट इज ऑन डिमांड आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग दिस क्वेश्चन विल सी द सोल्यूशन द क्वेश्चन इज यू आर एडिंग द इन्वर्जन सेंटर टू द फॉलोइंग groups and after adding it will convert into which point group so in general first we will see the list of uh, symmetry elements and respective point groups so first since we are having d3 here we will see dn dn will be having cn and n perpendicular c2 so whenever you have n perpendicular c2 it is classified into dn dnh as it is saying that h means your molecule should have sigma h here so again there is a division that if your n is even you should have along with that sigma v and sn and i symmetry elements and if it is odd the inversion will be absent here for dnd again for even you can see here cn n perpendicular c2 which is for dn operation along with that since we are saying it is dnd you should have n sigma d dihedral plane plus s2n and when it is odd then you will have inversion symmetry along with this combination so this is the list for dn dnh and dnd our molecule is uh, the group is giving d3 so if you perform d3 which is odd number having inversion so inversion you can see here in two either you have dnh and dnd but dnh you are having inversion when n is even but r is odd number so our molecule having d3 on adding inversion will give you d3d point group and the symmetry elements you can note it down following the list it should be e c3 three perpendicular c2 since it is dihedral then three sigma d will be there along with that s6 n i s6 since it is s2n second is we have our molecule c3 having c3 group so here cn you should have e and cn we have a general formula here on applying or on adding inversion center to the cn group it is equal to the s2n group so if you keep in your mind this formula then you can apply that it is s2n and if n is even you should have e cn and sn if n is odd then inversion will be present and in our question it is given c3 on adding inversion s2n means 2 into 3 as 6 so basically our c3 group on adding i is converting into s6 having the list of following list of symmetry elements so you just have to learn this cn i is equal to s2n this formula then you can solve it the next problem is having cnv uh, so we'll see cnv because in our question it is giving c4v so c4v means your molecule should have cn axis identity is present in all the molecule along with that sigma v will be there for cnh we will see n if it is even you should have e cn and inversion along with that it is sigma h and sn sigma h is present therefore we say it is nh and if it is odd you can see here i is absent here so our c4v is even we will see whether it is cnh or dnh dnh uh, you will have e cn n perpendicular c2 should be there along with that n sigma v sigma h sn and i this is the list we say it is dn group because it has n perpendicular c2 axis we say h because it has sigma h and we are adding inversion here i so basically if you notice on um, applying inversion or on any inversion to c4v actually we are supposed to get d4h point group why because you can notice here uh, if it is even also but in this cnh group your sigma v is absent while in our initial c4v molecule the sigma v was present so it cannot be absent when you add some other 
symmetry element. So in that case, if you compare the two, you should have D4H point group. So in that case, your molecule should have N perpendicular C2. So basically, we are converting Cn to Dn group, adding N perpendicular C2. Sigma V is present here. So you can just compare the blue. Uh, these three elements are present. Along with that, you are having inversion. So the list of symmetry elements you can write here. So I hope you got the answer from your question that D3 will convert into which group and Dn, uh, Cn will convert into or C3 will convert into S6 and C4B convert into D4H point group. All the best for your exam.